Trust the Profits and Playup Race Book present the live reaction, analysis, and recap of the 2022 Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. We are back. This is the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. Who are we like in here, Colin? I'm going with this eight atomically. I like the price at six to one. Luis Saez and Pletcher. Pletcher on two year old Phillies on the dirt. Can't argue that. Uh, and you also can't argue the seven. How about yourself? I am on the 14 Raging Sea as my uh, my big bet here. I've got a deep five horse uh, tri box, including both of those horses you mentioned and Raging Sea, but hoping the 14 gets there for us here. Deep field. Once again, on juvenile juvenile day, tough call. Yep, big field, and uh, two-year-olds are unpredictable, and that's why I think the money to be made is on this Friday as opposed to tomorrow. you got Golden Pal and Flightline and all that, but um, here's where we're hoping we can catch a price and a good break for them all. Everyone kind of broke straight in the line. The, the fear for the 14 on that way outside Raging Sea was yep. the post, and, uh, of course, Pratt's bringing them right into the inside to save ground because you can't be six, seven wide in a two-year-old race going a mile on the 16th unless you are really, really good, which overcame that. It's grand so, love, the nine off to the early start. Also included in my try box, so not mad at that start. But again, this is a mile on the 16th. No rush for some of these horses here. It's a deep field, like we said. And look at the um, any surprises so far. Yeah, the 14 did not get any favors on that start. Chop Chop is six wide on the outside there. Remember in yes, the Alcibiades not... at Keeneland, it was he was um benefit of Wonder Wheel um going fast and uh had to close from the clouds. So he's gonna have to close again, but now he's gonna be five, six wide possibly if uh Rosario can't make get him inside a little bit. Yeah, he's got his work cut out for sure. I like where the two's sitting, but I'm, I'm not sure. As they're coming into the top of the stretch here shortly, this is wide open like we expected. It's kind of a mess of horses here. The nine is up front, but they looks like the nine might be. Seven. Expect them to probably come back with the distance here. Uh, these horses on the outside are going to have a tough task going so wide. Someone just made a big move. Wonder it's wheel. Is Wonder Wheel going to get it wow. done here? Absolutely. Going away easy, which I faded. No love for me. Who do we got here? The 13, 14 gets up for third after the bad start. Not as lucky as the first race. So we had the five, I think it was 13 and 14. 13 leave no trace. At a deep cut. Not sure so what 13 went off at odds wise, but. Shout out to Keith, each and every stride, who on doubling down this week, when we broke down race six and seven, uh, he did hit the double here. He had this five wonder wheel. So he just uh, cashed $61 on his $8 bet. So nice job. Nice Keith. work, Keith. Congratulations. That's Tyler Gaffleon, if I'm not wrong. And I believe, believe yep. it or not, his first Breeders' Cup victory. Yes, he's had it's a long. Really hard to believe. Was he like over 34? I think it was. Friend of the show, TG, getting his first Breeders' Cup win. This big news on this race. So, very cool deal for him. And, and Wonder Wheel pulling out wild, three wide here and just a of dominant horse. kick to finish that. Impressive, to say plenty, the least. Plenty of horse. And if you look back on my Twitter, when I, when I went to the big board, right, and I made our video on Wonder Wheel, the most... I don't want to call it controversial, but the most negative feedback I got was on Wonder Wheel saying, you know, yeah. this is the horse, fade, fade, fade. Uh, and I, I think yeah, I nobody bought seemed into to it. be on it. Yeah, I definitely Raging C gets up. It. Yeah, leave no trace in second. Um, again, that's a horse that I didn't hear a lot of talk about. We had him actually, Trust the Profits um, formula numbers had him as the fifth horse there. So not a big shock, but. What what did Wonder Wheel end up going off at? Because I know the Raging Sea was around nine to one, and I think thirteen was deeper. So it's going to be another nice try. No surprises on Juvenile Day. Wonder but. Wheel was six to one. Uh, Leave No Trace was twenty five to one, and Raging Sea was six to one. So you got that nice price in the middle there. Um, 
you know, we talked about being on the outside, being a tough draw for Raging Sea, and that proved not to really be as big of a factor for those two because the second, third, and a Breeders' Cup race is very nice for the connections on that. Congratulations, Tyler. You did it. Good work. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Peace out. Thanks for watching Trust the Profits, your home for the best in horse racing and sports analysis.